All right, guys, so as you know, we've been trying to bang through getting Brian Z46 back on the road because it's, well, it's his daily driver, and two, I'm pretty excited about it. So last time you saw us, we had it started for the very first time, and it went pretty smoothly, and the engine sounds awesome. Now, since then, got the front end on the car, got a bunch of lines hooked up. Now all we have to do is put the fluids in it, bleed out the coolant, install the electric pedal i did wire it this morning so that's awesome and then the last hurdle we have until we can actually drive the thing for the first time is we lost the clip for the stupid clutch line that goes into the master it holds it on right there so i tore the shop apart texted everyone i know and i drove around to a bunch of places i can't find one but i think we're gonna rig something up and i kind of just realized i could just take it off my e36 if we have to not a big deal so today we we're gonna drive this thing for the very first time with a ZHP engine in. At least that's the goal, but I'm feeling optimistic. Ugh, I miss this thing way too much. I know, I gotta pull the engine, I gotta take it apart, I gotta spend a bunch of money, I gotta build it and put it back together. Ugh, okay, where's this clip? Come on. Oof, there we go. Yeah, that stupid thing. Well, that's it. A little embarrassed to admit how much time I spent trying to find one of those today when I just had it 20 feet away from me. All right, next thing on the list, we gotta install the electric gas pedal. To be honest, I know most people do convert back to the cable drive versus using a wired pedal. I don't know why Brian wanted the electric gas pedal, uh, but I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna install it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Someone doing a cable conversion is going to want this thing, B. Well, they're not going to want it now that we cut the cable in half. <laughs> ready to drive this thing today? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So we just realized that we're actually missing a piece for this. There's actually supposed to be this big white plastic base that bolts to there that this slips into. So it looks like we're driving with duct tape today. Uh, just give me the gas pedal I'll hold in my hand. It'd be like throt hand control. Come on, give me some more height. Give me some more height. Mm. Oh, she's almost full. We're gonna have to come back down. Okay. Not bad. All right. No. Nah. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, there's coolant in it, which means we could finally let this thing idle for more than 10 seconds. Let's give it a shot. And what's super exciting is the pedal works, I think, which means we could rev it up finally and hear what the exhaust actually sounds like. No problem. Uh, no problem. Didn't even. How many times did that turn over? <laughs> Half? It's quiet. It doesn't smoke. That's a good sign. <laughs> it's a really good sign. <laughs> oh, man. That's oil. Not <laughs> good. Show <laughs> me now. We can still drive it. Yeah. Get oil on everything. Fishing oil. Where is it coming from? It wouldn't be a BMW unless you replaced every single gasket and it still leaks oil. It's a curse. It's a curse. Well, let's see if my pedal works at least. Pedal works. Yeah, but the engine doesn't. Oh, wait, huh? Okay. It's working now? That sounds crazy. Sounds cool. Dude, that sounds insane. Oh no, did he give you a verbal tune? Uh, oh boy. <laughs> oh my god, that's loud. That's not surprising, but but it's it's quiet at idle, which I like. That's good. <laughs> that sounds insane. It's a lot of oil. Me. Of course, it has to be in the most difficult location, but uh, let's figure out where this uh, oil leak is coming from. I don't think it's coming from there. Okay. So you can see there's oil on the bottom of the oil tree. I'm not convinced that's leaking because it's a brand new seal on those. It shouldn't be leaking. It shouldn't be. It's, it's probably it's the van sign. Sign. It's it, probably the van sign. Maybe I just didn't tighten it enough. There's a van line. Oh, and it's wet. We're going to start there. If only it was, hopefully it's that simple, all right? 
usually not. I'm feeling optimistic. All right, well, both high pressure oil lines here, I was able to get like half a turn out of. But I also probably over tighten these all the time, so. Yeah, dude, you could probably get half a turn out of anything. <laughs> Golden Gate Bridge, <laughs> footings and shit. So maybe that will do the trick. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'm feeling. It was a lot of oil. Now I'm not feeling so confident about it not being the oil tree. Shut it up! So it looks like your little oil adapter, huh? It's just the one washer on it, the one aluminum washer on the whole damn engine. Instead of a copper washer. Yeah. yeah. Silly. I was gonna say, it's of course it's the one not OEM thing on here. Right? Works. BMW did it right. <laughs> This guy right here, the culprit, uh -huh. this is the culprit. You guys see how it has a aluminum crush washer versus like a, is there a copper one on any of these? You don't see it, but copper, that's usually the go-to. I think this is just NPT. Um, yeah, especially on this hard edge, that's probably why it failed. It doesn't take much. So all we have left is like these OEM Nissan crush washers, so it'll have to do. Go. Once we know this thing will maintain operating temp, uh, we technically have to calibrate the pedal, and then it's time to go do some, some good old-fashioned break-in driving. B-hole beaten. B-hole beaten. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, for me, let's hear this thing. Now it's warmed up. Woo! We got a flame. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's on purpose or not. I don't know. When I sent the message to Castle Performance, I put in uh, in one of the lines, I put aggressive limiter question mark. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> Hopefully that's on purpose. <laughs> Either way, it's pretty dope, and I know Brian's gonna definitely abuse that. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing on the ground. Maintaining temp. She seems happy. The gas pedal is still just kind of thrown in there, but it's okay. Everything's great. What are you doing there? <laughs> what? Oh, I, uh, don't mind me. I'm just, you know. Oh, dude, that thing works great. <laughs> All right, so uh, the early model cable driven throttle bodies apparently have a different bracket for, yeah, yeah, for the gas pedal. Before. So, yeah. There you go. You Tape know. it on for now. It's All right, whatever works. It's a test drive, fellas. The ECU is going to be flying around. <laughs> Air cools. <laughs> There it is, first drive. Okay, a little bit of misfire off the rip. There's no misfire that time. Uh, I can't tell if it's a happy slide or a bad slide. <laughs> oh, I have no brakes. You have no brakes? Yeah. That's weird. Uh, there's. Oh, we have the wrong line on the brake booster. It's gotta be. Sounds pretty crazy. says I have no brakes. <laughs> I don't need no brakes. <laughs> I got a handbrake. <laughs> I guess that's something. All right, well, how's it feeling first gear? Uh, it smokes a sheesh out of the tires, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> You're gonna go through a lot more tires with this thing. Oh, we need to switch my brake line. This is so sad. Well, he doesn't seem upset. No, he doesn't seem upset at all. <laughs> it sounds weird. Pedal feel, is it weird? Or is it like? No, it's just as responsive as the last time. That's awesome. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. Honestly. <laughs> well, it feels good other than the. Uh, what happened? What was broken? The no brakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta get this thing back in the dyno and compare it to what it made before? Yeah, that's what I really, really wanna yeah. know. So we'll get this thing buttoned up, get everything super, super sorted, and then we'll head to the dyno and, and get some numbers for you guys. See see what this ZHP 330 swap really is worth. And then the track soon after. Yeah, the track's 
the, I feel like the track is the real dyno, right? Oh, like, I don't care about numbers. I care about how this car gets me around the track. If I can get up the hill, mm -hmm. if I don't have to manji the straight, like that's what matters. Whoa, 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 whoa. You never manji. You ne <laughs> obviously you never manji the straight. But the point is, is like, will this car do what I want to do? And that's what matters because that's what I built it I for. I think you. I think we'll have no issue. I I think so too. <laughs> This dude thinks he's at the barnyard. He's having way too much fun. I'll tell you what, this thing makes a lot more smoke than it used to. That is unreal. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you break in a clutch. <laughs> you just kept going. Surprise the tires didn't pop. That made a lot of smoke. She was hot and rolling, dude. I've never seen this thing smoke like that before. Not second gear like that. This tight of a space to be able to drift second gear is really good. Like Test number one. Passed. Passed. All right, quick stop to Mexico, or I guess Brian thought it was the burn yard because this thing was <laughs> going insane. I, I've never seen this thing make smoke like that before. Dude, it was awesome. Oh, I no. was really, really happy. So there's definitely some kinks with it right now. It's running a little weird, especially like the parts with auto stuff. But uh, we gotta get the, we gotta you know drive the car, figure stuff out. It's a fresh swap, and uh, Brian gave it a fresh ass whooping. So uh, not bad, dude. Not bad at all. It was quick. It was good. You happy? I am definitely happy. So, next step, visit Dino, then the track, and then me and B doing some awesome tandems. So, we're gonna end there. We're both ex we're both exhausted. It's been a long hot day. So, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Have a great night. Peace.